Welcome to Educational Minds Academy. If this is not our latest video, then you can find our latest video on the channel by checking the description section or we can show a video card right now. If there is no video card, this means this is the latest video. In this video, we would like to show you how you can track your application status at UNISA, which is the University of South Africa. You want to open your browser and type UNISA, search for it, and scroll up and you would see these results that has been returned with the UNISA logo and it also has the UNISA application links. You can see my UNISA application for admission and things like that. Don't worry if you want to you want to be sure which link you have clicked or whether is correct just click the, the second link here the website of unisa should look something like this it should look something official it should talk about unisa and applications and all that is to do with unisa you want to click on apply right here and Next, you want to scroll up under undergraduate qualifications, click first time UNISA applications, applicants. If you are a returning student, click on returning students. If you are an honors or postgraduate student, you click first time UNISA applicants if you are a first time applicant. But if you are returning, click on returning. So do the right thing and click the right link. So and in this case, we would do demonstrate using the one for undergraduate first time UNISA applicant click right there when you are on this page you see there are some steps which are listed right here you want to click step number four and scroll up next you want to click on apply now as if you want to complete an application scroll up for a while up until you see this part or section that talks about status appeal or an offer so under status you see that they say track your application status so the right just click there um, scroll up when you see now they want you to enter your student number but it looks like this box that you are supposed to enter your student number you can not see when you are typing right this is because this is this website this part of the website has not been designed to handle users who are using smartphones so if you're really concerned about to seeing what you are typing you can just uh, right click on your chrome browser and say make sure that your browsing is in desktop site and when you do that for instance it will take you back here and you will still need to select status and then now you can see what you are typing on your computer this will automatically uh, show up so you can still type even though you cannot see it so if you don't want to do that if your browser doesn't have now let's continue after entering your student number you need to click on continue right here click on continue and then we'll see you on the next page now the system asks you for your surname first names um your year of birth month of birth day of birth what you need to consider here is that your surname must appear the way it is and maybe how you have submitted your application if you you use the one surname and then now you have decided to change your surname use the one that you have used when you apply your names if you use two names when you are applying when they ask for first names type those two names separate them by a space Make sure all details that you capture in this form are very, very accurate and correct. So go ahead and enter your surname, your first name. And for the year of birth, date of birth, 
we will show you just now how you do that we just select where there is year you will you will scroll up and find the year and do the same for month and day that should be easier for you to do now after you are done entering your personal detail you will click the continue button to continue the next page after you have clicked continue you would see they tell you that your application status is written right here so this one says that you have not submitted compulsory documents so you need to submit your compulsory documents for this application your id your school certificate but if your documents were submitted your status will be different sometimes when it's time for them to admit students they will just say admitted so in this time your status might be different so just keep checking regularly to see what your status is because it changes thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share to educational minds academy